when you start talking about how you did the motion graphics, I think that's a really good bridge to one of the things me and Chris were talking a lot about, which is how well animation is integrated with Pepe, the character and the story uh, in, in a way that um, other documentaries fail, I, I, I guess would be an easy way to put it. Like well, other, documentaries. Uh, other documentaries just don't put effort into animation usually like you'll see an animated mm -hmm. sequence and you'll be like where did that come from it looks like a I phone agree. commercial or something and then it's gone and you never see so like to have this like cogent animated style but also like the motion graphics aren't like fancy motion graphics three it's like Arthur online on 4chan, you know, yeah. like clicking on JPEGs and stuff. And like seeing... <laughs> well, we had to make all those JPEGs 4K. But... So it was like, uh, it was, that part yeah, was nice. Was... We just traced basically Whoa, all of 4chan. It feels it like you're surfing, the, you know, going through it. There's like, you hit these different tangents and like, it, it has this like fast pace, you know, like style to it where, yeah, like the second or third viewing, I'm like, oh, now I see Arthur as the, you know, invisible character that's like doing all the motion graphics. But do you think like coming yeah. into it, not as a documentary filmmaker, but somebody that is a little bit more versed in like design and, and, and like you were saying with the sound design, like I um, was listening to an interview you guys did and they were playing the, they were playing a portion of the film. I think it was when you're interviewing, um, the Trump guy, the Matthew, uh, I can't remember his name, but well, Matt Brainerd. Brainerd. Yeah. And I could really pay more attention to, it. I'm like, oh my God, the music and the sound design here. Is it like, you don't even need the images like it, and it, it builds so much tension and it's sort of scary. And like, you're like mm -hmm. the clicks and, and like how important, like, did you come into this being like, yeah, we got to spend like so much time on graphics and sound was that important off the top or were you kind of like learning as you were going or uh, i was learning as i was going it did it was very helpful to have um aaron and giorgio and then our other producer karen capitosta who were who are experienced filmmakers to help me along the way but it was I, I, this was like i i put absolutely everything i had into making this movie and i didn't want it to seem like uh, uh sometimes you watch a, a documentary and you feel like it's all made out of like cardboard or something yeah and i want and I wanted this to feel like everything was intentional. And maybe to go back to the other question about Normie thing, I, I just wanted all the scenes to work on like three levels. And it, it could be three different levels, but we, we would approach- I like uh, uh, angst. And <laughs> Well, for me, it was like I wanted I wanted things to have like kind of an element of media studies. So, for instance, like the section with Hillary Clinton getting yelled at, that's telling the story of maybe the campaign slightly getting weird for Hillary. But then you see how it moves virally. And that's kind of another thing that takes you about like, all right, what are they saying about the way media travels right now? And then there's these other like sort of artistic elements where that was like you can hear the keys furiously typing and there you can in that one, you can see a little bit more like pixel grid. Mm -hmm. And so yeah it's just like every section we wanted to like really kind of so pixel grit would be three i was yeah. gonna say yeah wait what one is media studies two one is, is two is like you're actually kind of telling the story i mean the other thing is just the cartoons right that's because yeah. those are different than the motion graphics that's a different world and has a different feel and most documentaries don't need cartoons in them but luckily this movie it needs Absolutely. lots of awesome yeah. cartoons and so. it would be i think it would be, me and chris were saying it'd be a very different documentary if it was cartoon Pepe, but not, we know that Matt, you collaborated on that part, right? Like, so it feels like you helped out with that, right? Like a little bit. It's authentic, you know, it's, or it's faithful. It's like a faithful reproduction. Like you said, Trump is never walking into their world. Still Matt's boys club, but they're dealing with 2016, right? Like that's very clear. It doesn't feel like you have appropriated uh, or tried really force tried to force boys club into 2016 you know like i think that that would be another way to make the film feel really normy as if it was like somehow uh uh didn't feel authentic you know mm -hmm.